Hello friends, Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life, bringing you another daily diary update for an action-packed day of Monday, May the 9th, 2022. Uh, we started here at my desk about three o'clock in the morning, uh, plenty of emails to deal with approving uh, upcoming publications that are going to go out to uh, hundreds of thousands of people, emails, uh, press releases, uh, said mass at about five and taped it for a later broadcast in the morning. Went back to work at my desk, had a quick breakfast and uh, did uh, a radio interview at 7.30 a.m. about this Dobbs case. Of course, lots of media these days on that. Did the interview for about 25 minutes and then jumped right on a phone call with our administrative team to get the day underway. And uh, 8.30, the full staff briefing to get the uh, work of the day uh, organized. And after that, had uh, about a two-hour period at my desk and interacting with various staff in the building uh, on the work of the day, interacting with pro-life leaders in preparation for some upcoming meetings, approving some more press releases and op-eds, articles that are being submitted to different publications. At 11 o'clock, I did a 40-minute a uh, phone interview with uh, one of the publications uh, from our pro-life Lutheran uh, brothers and sisters in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. And right after that, had some uh, lunch and then uh, work at my desk and then a one o'clock meeting with our executive director and our political outreach associate. A lot of our attention on the midterm elections, the primaries that are now underway. And we uh, had a meeting to plan for more activities about that. At two o'clock, I led a, a Zoom call of national pro-life leaders in regard to the Dobbs decision. So we had that from two to three. It was a meeting that I invited these leaders to. We talked about uh, some important questions about what the pro-life movement will be doing on the day that the decision officially comes out and also what kind of legislation we would be working on, especially at the federal level. That was one of the key questions we focused on during the call. Right after that uh, leader's call that I coordinated was done, I hopped into the TV studio to interview Dinesh D'Souza. And uh, he was on, and we talked about the Dobbs case as well as his new film. And that was a great interview lasting until up about three, until about 3.30. At 3.30, I met with various members of our administrative team and we walked to various parts of the building to approve some, uh, to approve some additional improvement work being done on this, this excellent facility that we, uh, that we have. Uh, as soon as that was done, I got on the phone with our finance director and got some updates from her. And she also handles, uh, oversees the project of updating, uh, working with the, the experts that we, that we hire to update our Wikipedia pages. It's very important to, uh, do that because any editors can go in there and put information that's, uh, not necessarily, uh, uh, helpful. And so we keep on top of that to edit it. And then let's see, after that, uh, got started getting end of day updates from the staff and from the team had a 6 PM, uh, conversation with our chief, uh, technology officer who helps with overall operations as well. Uh, that was a good phone call right after that had some dinner. And then at eight o'clock went into our TV studio, to do a live broadcast for about 35 minutes uh, on Right Side Broadcasting Network, our, our own end abortion.tv and Getter, Getter Live Programming. We've been partnering more and more with them. By the time I did that, I was ready for a good night's sleep. So that was the day on Monday, the 9th of May, working for the unborn, for the kingdom of God, and for you. That's why we're transparent with you. Thanks for your ongoing support.